Hey y'all, we are doing a new type of video to the channel, a style and chat. And I want to do more of these this year, but only if you like the format. So let me know. So I have already cleansed and conditioned and primed my hair to style and I'm doing a wash and go today. Wait, did this just break? Ugh, this just broke. You see this? So I've tried two of the products together before, but adding the third one, it's not something I've done before. So we'll see it all together today. But I'm gonna talk about three topics in particular today. Um, I'm going to give you some channel updates about what you'll see on this channel as opposed to Patreon or social media, right? I will also talk about my hair for this year, give you some updates, um, what I'm planning to do with it this year so you know what to expect. And then for the people who like the non-hair talk, I'm gonna talk about kind of what I'm doing for myself in 2023, how I'm reprioritizing my life now that I've finished recreating a five-year plan, and I think that's it. So let's get into this here her of mine. So I'm gonna start with the orange marmalade from Eco Slay. I've used this before to act as a leave-in for the gel. So it can be like a gel for some people, but I use it kind of like a leave-in slash curl primer um, in this case. So I don't want to put on too much, which is why I'm putting it on this whole section. So first things first, let's talk about how I am reprioritizing my life. So for the next five years, right, I have a new five-year plan. All that information is on Patreon. I talked about it as I went, as I was making it. I have reprioritized my life so that I can address some of the things that went wrong for myself in the last five years. So much went right, um, so much. But I did struggle last year a lot. And I realized as I was creating the new five-year plan, why really? Um, and kind of just took a lot of lessons from the previous five years so that I can go forth and prosper, but really, really pay attention to myself and my well-being and not lose myself along the way. I believe it was Zorno Hurston, it might not have been, who said some years ask you questions and some years um, give you answers or have answers, something along those lines. This clip is about to break too, I feel it. This is why the other clips are great. Last year was definitely a year where I just had a lot of questions and the answers didn't come until the end. And it's so funny because I really thought like last year, my five year plan is gonna be the year, right? That I just, I get to enjoy a lot of good things happen, the fruits of my labor. I get to just sit in that. But some tragic things happened too for the family as a whole. And I found myself super uncertain really more than anything else. And so I have decided in 2023 and moving forward, I'm going to prioritize myself and my well-being a lot more. But my personal business is also going to be more of a priority. So I'm going to put on top of the orange marmalade Eco Slay Jello shot. But I know this combo is great. I've used this combo before. And when I was watching Kayla, What the Kinks video about some of her favorite combos of the year, she reminded me that I really like this combo. And I'm just going to go in as I normally do and do one inch sections and apply the gel. Hopefully I have enough gel. <laughs> but said all that to say, you know, that's going to be my focus. My word of the year is intentional because I just want to be super intentional about how I'm spending my time throughout the year, about the choices I'm making, remind myself always that I am most important. One thing about Jello Shot is it has a very strong hold too, so I don't feel the need to over apply because I'm going to apply another product on tops. And I'm going to go ahead and do the this in section. So after this, I'm going to go ahead and apply the new to me product. And this product was sent to me, but not like for any exchange of money or anything. It's just because I work with Trelux a lot. Um, and so they sent me the Soothe and Restore Curl Defining Mousse. And some of you have asked me about this. This will be my first time trying it. So I will continue to try it and give you my thoughts as I kind of work through it. Oh, wait, there's more here. Continually thinking that I'm done and there's more here story of my friggin life. I have been experimenting using mousse um, as the last step in my style as like a finisher. I have been experimenting with that mostly using Nairobi so this will be the first time I'm using something else. I'm just gonna 
add a couple, two or three pumps, I guess, to this section and then I'll shingle just to make sure it's gotten everywhere. And um, that'll be that on this side. This should also kind of soften the eco slay. So maybe I like first day hair a little better. I don't love first day hair when I use Jello Shot because it's so strong and like in place. <laughs> So maybe I'll like it more. Let's chat. Let's chat channel changes. So last year I kind of moved toward this model where I'm not review doing like one product reviews pretty much anymore on the channel. If you know much about the YouTube natural hair community and how many brands we have really brought up on our coattails as a whole that doesn't reciprocate and they still for the most part don't reciprocate. Now I have found some great brands that I work with that are just really wonderful. That's why I share them. But so many brands and you could think of some of the just big brands kind of abandon the natural hair influencers as they grow. And this is not a gripe. This is just facts, right? Like business is business. I'm not mad at it, but it does not incentivize me to feature products just because it's a black owned brand, you know, anymore, or give them full videos when, yes, I might get some YouTube coins, but the brand is going to make a lot more money than I will. Right. So what I have switched to the model I have switched to last year is yes, I'm still giving you guys reviews, but I'm giving you reviews housed in other products. So like we had speed reviews, right? Last year, or I'll do a, a wash day where I'm using different brands, or I just did a roundup at the beginning of the year um, of a lot of the products I used last year, right? Not just hair, but in general. And that seems to work for me, but many of you still wanna see, you know, how I was doing reviews before, right? And I've really been sharing a lot of that on Patreon. I share full wash routines when I'm using something new, using it more than once, um, and then giving a review, i.e. melanin hair care, the plumping conditioner. My whole review of that is on Patreon. I'm actually gonna dig into that more where I share the first time, the second time, over time, using new product. If you guys want to know something in particular, just ask me what I'm going to do is put up a weekly community post so that you guys can ask me whatever questions you have and I can emphasize what videos answer it, right, over on the community tab, right? And, and then the last thing I'm gonna say about the channel before I move on to my own hair <laughs> is that I am gonna continue to post videos. I'm gonna try my hardest to post videos every five to six days, but I cannot stretch myself too thin. That is something I have done, and so I'm not gonna do that again. On that same weekly community post, I'm going to encourage you guys to ask for what you want to see, especially when it comes to products like you ask for what you want to see. And if I want to try the product and I think enough people want me to try the product, I'll try it. If you guys want to see, you know, particular things in vlogs and like how I'm navigating things, write that on that post and I will try to create content that we both want to see and create. All right, so let's move into beauty. So first let's talk about what I'm doing with my hair this year as far as washing goes. Um, you know, I wash my hair on my whim or as I have time or how styles last, right? So this style will probably last me a couple of weeks. And so I'm gonna let it be for a couple of weeks. I'm not rigid anymore about how often I wash my hair. It's more about, you know, how my hair behaves. That's how often I wash it. I will always prioritize never letting my hair dry out, always and forever, but that's pretty much it. Otherwise, you know, I just do what I want with my hair. Last year, that was a lot of twist outs with a few wash and goes. Right now, I'm feeling wash and goes, so, you know, I'll probably do more of those this year. I really, really fell back in love with twists last year um, as a whole, like wearing mini twists. Um, and then just letting that be a three week style, like wearing it in twist for two weeks 
and then untwisting, which really works well for how I travel. Like I'm often out for like a full week or more. And so that really works well for travel where I, I know my hair is gonna look good. Twists work great when moving from climate to climate. And then if I get there and I feel like, you know, my hair is gonna be fine, then I'll do a twist out. It works beautifully for travels. Um, I'm wetting my hair now because it's a little drier than it was in the box. And I want the product to still slip down my hair, which so far I have enough. I think I'll, I'll be able to get through this and another wash and go. But as far as like the products I'll be using, I'm just using what's in my stash. I have so many products and then, you know, brands as they send me products, I may or may not incorporate them, but I'm not gonna hold myself to anything in particular because I have to prioritize the health of my hair. Speaking of the health of my hair, I just got a trim. Um, if you watch my vlog that will come out after this, you'll see that. Um, my hair, I actually did a length check for you guys. Um, and then I got a trim. So it's back at waist length, which is what I wanted. And though I have, um, you know, in the past cut my hair, <laughs> I'm going to let it keep growing. I kind of want to see, you know, how fast I would get to my hips and what that will be like because my hair really hasn't gotten any harder to do. I thought it would, but it's actually like even better <laughs> because doing twists and things like they look really good long. And so I'm really kind of enjoying the long hair for now. So I'm going to let it keep growing this year and we'll see what happens. If you're new here, I usually got my hair cut every two years basically or before that. And so for people like, it seems like my hair grew drastically in these last couple of years, but it didn't. I just didn't cut it. <laughs> I didn't get it cut. Um, and if you're not new here, you know about that. You know. But I've just been getting trims, and I have found the sweet spot for my trims is every six months. So that's the energy I am going to keep and just keep doing them, getting them done every six months. Um, and if you watch my transition to gray video, you know my thoughts on color and you know what I'm gonna do with my hair color over time. But it is aging really well. This is kind of like, what did I just do with this shingle? Okay, there we go. Oh, that's why, okay. As far as like what kind of wash routines I'll be doing, I am focused mostly on restorative wash routines uh, because I do have color treated hair. I have used heat, like I just had heat on my hair. It was blown out, I didn't get it straightened. Um, video on Revere vs. Dyson to come and just styles that cater to the various textures on my hair um, especially the front being more color damaged you know than the back naturally there was no color on the back um, am I going to cut off the color not anytime soon um, maybe as it grows out I mean do you see how long my hair is maybe as it grows out I might but for now I don't see that it's necessary it's just a matter of if I, I don't like how it's growing out like you see how much <laughs> it's grown out since that color you know um or if I don't like you know how it's dealing making my texture feel right but like I said I'm gonna focus on restorative routines so it should be okay and then in the way of beauty in general um, on the channel, I am, I'm going to do a better job of sharing beauty stuff. Sometimes you guys like to see, you know, makeup routines and things like that. And so I'm going to do a better job of sharing that stuff in the context of my life. And like, I'll probably put it more in vlogs, right? So I'm still going to vlog because I really like, you know, just sharing what a 30 year old woman, um, 30, <laughs> 30, mid 30 year old woman, um, what a real life is like, right? Like in a large city, someone who travels, this is what my life is like. Am I going to share dating? No, still ain't going to do that. <laughs> the world just isn't, it's, it's not friendly enough for all that. And I don't need the commentary on my choices. So I'm not going to do that, but I, I can share real life, right? And I can share what products I'm using to maintain myself. And many of you guys have asked me to share like, more looks and my capsule and stuff so I'll share all that in vlogs share empties in vlogs things like that I need to water my fiddle leaf and my alocasia Ign ignore like how sad it looks okay it's winter 
I mean, you can see that my hair is thriving. It is doing well. I did dry it with the Dyson after letting it air dry for 30 minutes. Took no time at all um, with the diffuser. It took me about 15 minutes. It was like a little still wet right here, but I went somewhere and I came back and here we are. It's dry. It's good. I really like that I can get my hair dry in 15 minutes with that Dyson ash. You know, credits all to you. Um, it's, it's better then I usually enjoy Eco Slay on the first day. And you'll see third day hair on my next vlog because I, that's when I'll next be vlogging and I'll tell you um, that it's third day hair. But of course, moving forward, if you're new here, I do have a channel membership. And so you get all the live stream replays right here on YouTube. And then on Patreon at the same level, you get access to all the live stream replays and at least three videos uh, a month that are separate, exclusive, to Patreon. That is where I talk about dating. That is where I give the tea. That's where I've given all the info about my five-year plan moving forward, which I'm really excited about. Goals Group gets a monthly Zoom meeting as well as their own special Discord server and mo so much more. And so as far as Instagram and TikTok goes, on TikTok, I am sharing recipes each week. Um, I'm trying a new recipe each week as part of like a resolution for the year, not a goal, just a resolution. Um, or I'm like perfecting a recipe, so I'm sharing that on TikTok. If you're interested in that, check that out. And Instagram is pretty much where like I upload things that are related to YouTube that will go back to the YouTube video that's up that week. Um, I share books on um, Instagram. I'm in Instagram stories more than anywhere else on a daily basis. Basically, I'm telling you all, as far as content goes, and my online space is that I wanna co-create content. I want you guys to be a part of what shows up on this channel. For the most part, I'm still gonna have complete and total control because it is my life. So that's where I'll be on the internet. That's what's happening in this neck of the woods. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe before you go so we can see each other all year long.